Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Google Opal. It is supposedly the NAN and lovable killer. People are raving about this new product, saying it's a step in the direction for Google to start eating NAN's lunch. Now, in this video, we're going to have a conversation about this new product. I'm going to try it out in front of you, and I'm going to leave you guys to decide whether or not this is a competitor with Lovable and NAN. So without further ado, let's get started. So Opal is a new no-code platform that allows you to build AI mini apps. Opal is a platform that allows you to create workflow and pass on information through workflows, through different nodes or steps, they call them, and eventually present that data after it's passed on through its life, perhaps it's being analyzed by an AI, it is gonna then present that information down the chain of steps into the website, similar to how NAN is. Now, if you're not familiar with NAN, it's one of the most powerful automation tools on the internet right now. I've uploaded a video. If you wanna watch a video about NAN, I highly suggest it. It's gonna pop up right now. Go and watch this and come back for this but you can create workflows and sequences of steps where user wants to accomplish a certain goal. And that's called a workflow. And you have a visualization tool similar to NAN, and you can chain these steps together. So you can chain one result from one AI to the other, and then eventually present it on a website. Now to get started, all you have to do is go to opal.withgoogle.com, and then you're presented with this page. There are several different default apps that they've created for you to test out Opal. And we're gonna use some of these in order to test it out together. The two I wanna test out is Learning with Google. And the next one is gonna be Video Marketer. I like these two a lot. I've actually tested them out. I think they're pretty interesting. We're gonna start off with Learning with YouTube. We see an Opal in front of us. And if you wanna get started with editing your Opal, you can click Remix. It will create a copy and upload it into your own workspace so you can start editing it and adjusting what you need with the notes. Similar to how NAN works, you can move around the nodes. Fairly simple concept we have here. And then you can add different nodes right here. Now, as I said, Google did say that this is an experimental mode app, so they don't have much going on right now. If we go and check out the add assets section, it's only gonna give us all of what Google has to offer. And I think there are some things that are missing like Google Sheets and such. But for this Opal, we are going to collect a YouTube URL. We're gonna extract video transcripts and then analyze the content and generate a quiz for us or for the user. Instead of like YouTube videos, I wanna be quizzed about Wikipedia pages. And if I click enter, it's gonna go ahead and start editing the workflow to mimic what I want. So if we look at what it was able to do, and then we can go into the app or the editor, sorry, and then move it around, we can see the results it gave us. So you're going to enter a Wikipedia page. It's going to get the Wikipedia page. It's gonna either generate a quiz or analyze the content, and then it's going to display the report. We take a wiki from YouTube, upload the Wikipedia page. It's going to retrieve the content from the wiki page. And we notice right here, this is the analyze node or the analyze asset where it's going to take context. And then this is just a prompt for the Gemini or the AI. So it's going to just generate the report and display it. Now, while we're waiting for that, we're gonna go into Video Marketer and it's the same exact thing, but instead you have a VO video generation model that can generate ad campaigns for you. Now, we're not gonna do any editing for this one. We're just gonna click start and we're gonna enter the name of the product, Apple AirPod Maxis. And then describe your target audience. We're gonna say music listeners and media consumers, and it's gonna research the product. It's gonna use the internet to research the product, and then it's going to generate some reports about that product. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to create the report that we wanted. I don't know why it failed right here. Um, even if we did try to fix it, it's not working. Um, you can see the outputs here. I'm really, really intrigued on why you, can, you didn't do it. Uh, but this is one of the shortcomings of this platform. There is no way to actually bug fix. It's not telling you what's going on. Um, if it says waiting for the user's input, even we put the Wikipedia here, let's check what it's doing. So it's failing to get the educational content. Now I'm wondering why it would even do that if it couldn't do it. So that's kind of one of my questions. But if we go back, we just do learning from YouTube. That's fine. We'll just 
use whatever whatever they want. I'm gonna grab this build research agent workflow with NAN. This is a video I made. If you're interested in it, go ahead and watch it. You can click start, you can upload the video. Then we can wait for it to extract the video transcript. We can go back to the video marketer. It is also generating the video. So we're gonna give it a bit of time and come back to it. Okay, so it's done with the video generation. We can check out the app. Okay, it's a person. I don't know what that was. That was kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's download this video. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so we can check out this video together. Wait, did it just go from headphones to... Okay. <laughs> that also works. Or maybe they're, that doesn't, that's the way they're designed. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a very smart idea. It's like, oh, they put on the headphones and then they went into the opera or something pretty smart but there's no text or anything i don't see anything going on but it says unlock ultimate audio immersion experience pristine audio spatial audio and science science the world around you with airpod maxes pretty good copywriting i guess but the video was fairly short and it wasn't really explanatory i think but you tell me in the comment section below how you felt about that but going back to the video report and it's done for us it's going to give you a title educational report that you can read before doing the quiz and then you can quiz yourself here and what is NAN primarily described as in the video you can say it's a low code platform for automated workflows in NAN what are nodes I would assume that they are individual steps I guess I know a lot about NAN maybe the video that I made was good but that's just generally what the app is it's not crazy apps but you tell me in the comment section down below what do you think about this is this the future is this where people are going to go and where google is going to step forward to do you anticipate that google is going to try to take down nan personally i don't think they're going to be able to because of how large nan's structure is but i guess in the day and age of ai and how fast things are moving you can never be so sure but that's it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers, by the way, and only you guys can help me get there. So leave a subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you're not, you don't miss out on my uploads. I upload as soon as I know about these new products. But yeah, be safe, be well. I'll see you on the next video.